Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on August the 3rd, Wednesday, 2016. You're looking at a chart here of Bitcoin. As you can see, this uh, the price action is getting worse as momentum is picking up to the downside, just as expected. And now this uh, we're in jeopardy of accelerating down to possibly the 580 level uh, within the next uh, day or two, and then that really sets up that 555 support here that's looking like that's what we're going to test uh, before you get any possible um, buying interest right now I just don't see that I believe that this momentum could get pretty ugly to the downside but caution word of caution as you know this is Bitcoin it's still the wild wild west it's a, it's a new market so it has to mature and right now liquidity can be an issue so trade with caution however uh, you should be trailing uh, your position here uh, if you're holding the shorts right now it's, it's looking pretty decent like we have more downside to go as this market uh, is, is getting very weak alright switching our focus now to the Dow you can see here that um, this one is coming off of an oversold condition but it's more so on the daily chart looking like it's locking in this downtrend channel so it is in a negative pulse wave state and we have upside resistance right now at 18.445 question is is this just going to elongate into Friday and flatten out or are we going to see either a breakout attempt or more acceleration to the downside if I had to draw a straw right now I would say that the long straw is pointing to this trend line of 18,012 so I think we're going to the trend line support right here and then we'll see what happens from there but right now all signs are pointing that this is where this is gonna go we do need to deal with the elephant in the room and the elephant in the room says that there was a crash alert uh, for the Dow for this week so we have to be mindful of the short-term topping patterns especially when you're getting a um, a positive bot check hit saying that there is some activity going on uh, underfoot and right now it's showing that it is selling pressure so we have to look for the invisible selling pressure to possibly accelerate into as we get you know longer in the week here all right looking here at the Russell you can see pretty much uh, the same thing with an exception if you remember the Dow chart it was further established within that downtrend channel while the Russell is just starting now it's in a negative pulse wave but this is the first bar and the bar right now is actually bullish showing upside momentum coming in so this kinda confuses things a bit is the Russell playing catch up to the Dow or is the Russell this time leading the Dow and that's why the Dow really can't fall it's, you're getting sell signals but you're not really getting any major acceleration and momentum so that could be the issue but however if not and if the Dow is truly leading then right now this right here this rally that you're seeing in the Russell should be sold heavy pushing prices down even below this trend line of 1169.80 so this is really interesting uh, circumstances as we're looking at it right now very interesting to see how this plays out it should be noted that the Russell does not have a rally or crash alert on it as a matter of fact it's hitting a new uh, 10 period high uh, as of last Friday when it hit that uh, 1224 uh, 60 so that is to be noted so are we going to try to run and test that 
or is it going to be sold? So this is this is getting interesting. Now the Nikkei points to a much different picture. It's different than the Dow and it's different than the Russell. It's different in that you can see that it is in a negative downtrend also. It's all right, you got a negative pulse wave, but this one is showing increased downside momentum and a locking in. All right, so this is trying to get a bear trend starter and you have your trend line crossing here. The short term trend line is crossing below the longer term trend line and that is serious. Even though we're inside the Kumo cloud now, look where price action is. Doesn't have too much further to go to break down below the Kumo cloud. Uh, this one is 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 really leading the pack. I would say the Nikkei is is leading right now, and so therefore, as goes the Nikkei, there goes the rest of the market as well. So I'm going to point to the Nikkei leading the way to the downside, and it's just waiting for the Dow and the uh, Russell to catch up. Looking at the S and P. You can see the same thing, just like the Dow. You know, S and P follows the Dow, so this is this is what you're seeing. Same type of type of a uh, scenario, flatlined, and in a negative pulse wave scenario. All right, looking at the uh, the Nasdaq 100, it's the same scenario as the Dow and the S and P. They're all moving in tandem like they normally do, and not a whole lot. To see here but it is still in a negative pulse wave as you can see it, these markets aren't too far away from their resistance looking at the S&P the Nasdaq the Dow even the Russell they're not far away from their price inflection points for instance on the uh, S&P I mean on the uh, Nasdaq here uh, 4757 and three quarters would push this back and take this high out this is not a strong high this is not really a strong top so it could still break out further this could just be setting up uh, a bear trap to, to to blow everybody out as this thing takes legs and blasts off on Friday. So take back Friday is something we need to look out for as well. All right, looking at our triple Q, you can see the same thing. If now we're, we we've left the future side of things, looking over at the equity side of things now, you can see this one has further upside to go, um, but still it's in a negative pulse wave scenario. This one's showing that it's not you're going to be able to jump up and reach that and then it, you're going to get more action to the downside eventually with this type of momentum see the 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 charting picture is different when you look when you look at the the futures as opposed to the equities equities are much better priced than futures are all right so um this is interesting is are the cues showing the real story behind what's going on in this nasdaq I'm going to say yes, it, yes it does. So this trend line of 113.28 uh, is definitely in play. All right, looking over at the SPY now, uh, the S&P, you can see this one looks a little bit better than the futures counterpart as well. And again, equity is a better price. So you can see with the better parking pricing mechanism, you are seeing the the leaning here like it's going over the edge you can see it's dancing right there on that trend line momentum is trying to come up here but it looking like the um, like the cues you got a bump here around probably stall out, stall out around 216.82 and then that's when it rolls over and this should roll over so these are going to be really fun to watch all right looking at oil uh, you know it really hasn't decoupled from the equities really it's showing the same pattern as the Nikkei all right a little bit more leaning but still same type of a pattern still negative pulse wave crossing of the trend lines yeah much weakness coming up to, te to test the top of the channel and then this will be sold just like this right here putting us further down here we could be looking uh, you know, here at um, dropping below 26. I mean, that's in that's in the cards here. 25, 24, 23. Who knows? But this is this is weakness here. Even if it makes it up to the trend line of 28, 26, it's still going to be shot down because this is a very powerful 
breaking of the chart here. This is damage. Major damage was done right in, in here. All right, so down she goes. And you can see the U.S. dollar now. Um, after it crashed down, now it gaps back up again. So it's it's just jumping all around the place. Like I said, we have to deal with these uh, with these gaps. All right, so here it is dancing around the Kumo. And you can see that the momentum is trying to come up here. Where it stops, nobody knows. If I had to take a guess, I'd say probably you're going to run into some resistance at 2479. Between 2479 and 2480, that's where you have a problem. That's this trend line right here. So we'll see what happens. But I'm thinking that if anything, it may get to 2488. And then that's where it'll really hit the major resistance and then come down as this is dropping further to drop below the trend line. And then eventually everything's coming down below the Kumo cloud. So the dollar is looking pretty weak. How much further they're going to let it fall? I don't know. Will it test the old supports back here of 2412? I don't know. But right now, I would have to say that this is in play. This downtrend channel is powerful and it is in play to the downside. All right, looking at gold now, as you can see, um, you know, coming off a little bit, still well supported at the 125.62 level, um, and was we're, we're coming off on of momentum, still a bullish pattern right now, still in a positive pulse wave scenario, and this market could still, you know, withstand. Uh, a pull back all the way down in the trend line and still be good to go so right now is it pausing before the next breakout or is it just going to waffle around here and eventually find its way to the trend line who knows Control your position with uh, with good stops well supported right now at 125.62 look at the gold futures if that's any indication not really 1375 is definitely uh, in play and like I said, 1400 is still the target. Just taking a breather. Bullish chart, well supported at 1325.20. All right, same thing with the silver. Silver still positive pulse waving, looking really nice. Um, just taking a break, taking a breather. It's now pulled back to the 2041 first support. Could make its way to 1997 second support, which is this trend line right here. Major supports down here between the. Uh, 1884 trend line in the 1935 support zone. So, market's very well supported. It, 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 can, it can sustain a pullback down to these levels and still maintain its bullish overall pattern. So, I'm still liking this one. All right, looking at the SLV, same scenario going on here. Um, you know, these markets are just setting themselves up for you know further profit taking right now. And on an intraday uh, basis, this market is. Um, the zone you're going to watch as far as the breakout zone goes you're going to watch this um, this 1972 price level okay um, a break above you know a trade above 1972 sets us up to get up above this 20 2050 zone on the short term between now and Friday so you know watch out for that uh, I would not necessarily be looking to uh, to short this up in here. Um, you know, you, you definitely want to just wait for you know further upward momentum. Uh, we we did have a uh, rally alert uh, for this week for the SLV, uh, so you, you want to take notice of that. We also had a rally alert in the gold and silver futures. And we have a rally alert and the GLD. So, you know, use caution on that. And uh, that's normally not a time to look for shorts in situations like that. Looking at your miner, your silver miner, same situation, moving in tandem with the silver and the SLV. Looking good still. Uh, looks like the 4856 trend line support could be in play before initial breakout uh, on the intraday level um, you're just trailing you're trailing your longs on this one okay so it's, it's still looking good 
looking at your GDX, same thing. 2806 uh, is you know still strong support. 2955 could be in play uh, before the next upside breakout, but you're definitely going to want to you know keep a lookout on an intraday for 31. Um, 64 this high right here this high is punched through then you know that the momentum should carry this at least another buck 50 before the next possible pullback so anyway that's all we got time for today um, remember bulls make money bears make money but pigs get slaughtered so remember to take what you can and give nothing back and don't forget to uh, share like and subscribe to the videos and we'll see you over uh, on our website where there's a bunch of trading tools and things of that nature for you um, and you want to take advantage of it while it's still free of charge and uh, we'll see you in the trading room be encouraged